hello there welcome to my youtube channel saint nightingale in this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how i recreated this three layered peplum dress let's go so the first thing i did was to fold the ankara fabric into two and um get my half length measurement the half length measurement i'll be working with is 17 inches but i added half an inch allowance up and down to give me 18 inches and i'm going to take my tape roll now place at the top of the fabric and uh, measure 18 inches afterwards i went on to measure the back measurement the back measurement is 16.5 but then i added one inch sewing allowance to accommodate the um sewing allowance half an inch sewing allowance on both sides which gave me 17.5 inches thereafter i went on to secure the armhole measurement the armhole measurements that i'll be working with is um 19.5 inches so i went downwards and i marked um 9.5 inches um, and then took my um, chalk now to place on the fabric after marking that I went on to um, Use my ruler to connect the lines After connecting the lines I took my tape roll now to that point of the fabric to get the um, neck measurement The round neck measurement I'll be working with is three inches wide and four inches deep so i picked up my um, measuring tape and i marked three inches and i took the tape downwards and marked four inches so after marking four inches i did like a box shape so that i can um, secure my curve for the round sleeve most part of this um, the most part of this pattern that i worked with was freehand um, i used freehand basically in all of this markets as you can see i'm cutting directly on the fabric if you're not so strong in freehand measurements or freehand pattern making i would advise that you try out this pattern in a pattern paper or brown paper that you use in creating your pattern before transferring to your fabric so let's continue i went on to use the chalk to mark this and then used my hand to make the um, curve from that point of the markings downwards and there is the round sleeve afterwards i went on to um also create the curve for the armhole remember one inch um, vertically and horizontally and then i used my chalk again to secure the curve and afterwards i went on to get the slant for the shoulder one inch off of that point i took my short ruler again and connected the line so that i can have the slope afterwards i went on to secure the um, bust measurement the bust measurement that i'll be working with is 36.5 inches um, if i divide this by two that will give me about nine nine um, inches plus a quarter but then i added my sewing allowance and my data allowance and ended up marking 12.5 inches so i placed my measuring tape and marked 12.5 inches after doing this i went on to mark the waist measurement the waist measurement that i'll be working with is 28 inches but then because of the sewing allowance and the dart allowance i divided this into seven and added um, two inches sewing allowance to give me nine inches so rather than mark seven inches on that point i marked nine inches so i'm going to be doing a side bust dart um, and decided to take out um, or rather add one inch um, sewing allowance on that portion and then use my straight ruler now to connect the lines because so that when i take out the dots on the side um, i can have my full length measurement back in play so i've done this now i'm now going to pick up my scissors and trace out what i've cut or what i've marked all right so recall that i had mentioned that i'm going to be making um, dots in two places a front facing dart and the bust dart on the side so for me to be able to create a front facing dart i first of all marked the nipple to bust point the nipple to bust point is 11 inches i took out um that on the fabric and then marked that across after marking across i went on to take out um one inch upwards um which is where the dart is going to start from so I've taken my short ruler now to mark the um, point that I've um, created on, on the fabric. I took the chalk and I marked that across. So after doing this, I'm now going to secure the nipple to nipple point. The nipple to nipple point is 3.5 inches, but I'm going to be working with 4 inches. So I marked 4 inches from that um, first point um, downwards and I took my short ruler and marked the straight line. I took out half an inch on both sides of that line 
and measured from that point downwards on both sides um, i didn't know the camera wasn't showing the full view but i'm going to show you um what i have done in the next frame this is a close-up shot for you to see what i was trying to explain you can see the um straight line and then the um half an inch that i took on both sides the part i have white chalk on is a part that i will be cutting out which is not useful for me in this um in this um pattern that's the one inch that i said i took upwards um and marked upwards for my um that point i'm going to be using um scissors to trace this out when i place on the lining uh, that's the four inches that i had mentioned 3.5 inches but four inches um finally because of my sewing allowance and um, that's it so let's move over to the other part of this pattern so for me to cut the back pattern as well i folded the fabric into two and took out two inches um sewing allowance for the zip on that portion i usually work with two inches when i'm creating my sewing allowance for my zip then i measure the half length the half length still remains the same 18 inches 17 originally but half an inch sewing allowance on both sides i use my short roller to um, mark this then i place the front part of the fabric um, bearing in mind that slant that is at the tip so that everything just stays on the same line after doing that i took my scissors and traced out the pattern so this pattern is divided into three the upper body the lower body and where the peplum sits the full length measurement i'll be working with that's um, the shoulder to um, above the knee measurement is 35 inches remember i've taken 17 inches already so i'll be working with 18 inches and that's what i marked on the fabric so the lower body that takes the waist the hip and the round knee measurement is um, 18 inches 18 plus 1 inch sewing allowance from the up and the bottom will give me 19 inches so that's what i've marked there i've marked 19 inches i'm marking the um, waist hip and round knee measurement and which is what had marked on that fabric so i'm going to cut out the waist measurement like i earlier mentioned 28 inches with my sewing allowance and that allowance will give me 20 rather will give me 30 inches divided by 2 that's 15 hip measurement 42 um, divided by 2 will give me 21 inches sewing allowance will give me 23 inches um, the round knee measurement I'm working with is 34 inches divided by 2 is 17 inches so like I did for the blouse measurement I took out 2 inches um, zip allowance also from the back and placed the um, pattern or need to cut out the back measurement i'm using that chalk so that i can know the part that is facing upwards and the part that is facing downwards when i want to sew and that's it so i'm going to move over now to cut the sleeves the full sleeves measurement i'm working with is seven and a half inches i'm going to be adding two inch sewing allowance to give me 9.5 inches i am taking out my curve now for the sleeves and i'm working with the round sleeve measurement of 12 inches 12 plus um one inch will give me 13 inches and that's what i've cut out there and that's the sleeves that you have so let's proceed to cutting the first layer of the peplum earlier mentioned that i was working i divided this pattern into three the upper body the lower body and the peplum side the upper body is 17 inches the lower body is 18 inches and the peplum side is 20 inches so for me to be able to achieve these three layers um, I divided this into three places 6 13 20 so the first layer is 6 inches long second layer 13 inches long last layer 20 inches long so at the end of the day I can already get my 55 inches also the 6 inches will also have 1 inch sewing allowance to give us 7 inches 13 inches 1 inch sewing allowance to give us 14 inches when I'm cutting 20 inches will give us um, 21 inches sewing allowance so that it will accommodate the sewing allowance at the top and at the bottom um, for you to be able to learn how to cut a peplum dress i dropped a tutorial video on how to cut a peplum dress or a peplum blouse you can watch that video um, so that you can follow through with cutting this um, circle pattern so i've cut the first layer i've placed on the fabric to cut the second layer remember the round knee measurement is still the same i'm working with 34 inches i've marked that now so i know which layer is which layer because of the fact that i worked with ankara fabric it was quite tasking to be able to get my um, desired um, circumference so i had to join a lot of parts to be able to achieve that um, if you're working with a sample material or a material that is produced um as long as 60 inches long you will need to follow 
this method but because i was working with ankara fabric that usually comes as with seven inches um long i had to join to be able to get my third layer of vada to get achieve the length for my third layer because the fabric was not going to be enough so i have joined that now i'm now going to proceed to place on um, the gum stay and um, trace out the pattern after tracing the pattern for um, layer one layer two and layer three i went on to also trace out the pattern on the lining um, for the um, peplum so i've traced out the lining for the um, lower part of the dress i want to now get the dart measurements i'm going to take out three and a half inch on that side and um, take my short ruler now to secure the dots or secure the lines to that point that you can see i took out half an inch on both sides and i'm going to take my ruler again to secure that and there i have my side um, dart measurement so i'm going to take my scissors now to open that part up and that's it so i'm going to continue to get the lining for the other part of the fabric i've traced out the lining for the fabric and i'm now going to um, go to the sewing machine now to um, join these parts so first of all i joined the upper body of the fabric um, for the lining and for the blouse and then went to the um, ironing board to um, straighten this out after joining so I made sure that I joined the front part, the back part as well, and joined the neck. Then I went to the ironing board to open it up so that um, the process is as seamless as possible when I'm joining. So I'm on the ironing board now. I opened up the sewing so that it flattens out for the lining and for the Ankara fabric. I opened every part and then I ironed. I'm making use of a steam iron so it's easy for me to work with. Then I went to the sewing machine now to um, join the shoulders. You um, place it and flip it over, flip one side over on the other side and there you secure your um, shoulder measurement. So I'm making use of um, inner closing method for joining this fabric. So what I did was to join the Ankara first before joining the lining. So I placed the Ankara on both sides, got my measurement that I will be working with for the waist. So I marked that and I, and I sewed that for the waist and for the um, um, bust area. Um, so that I'm also sure I always use my tape root to secure um, the, the parts that I'm working with. I went on to join the sleeves and there you have it. So I went on now to now um, secure the dart for the skirt. Remember the dart you're going to be working with for the skirt is the same measurement that you work with for nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement like I earlier mentioned is um, 6.5 but I added um, extra sewing allowance to this. So I'm going to be working with um, about four inches um sewing um sewing allowance and that's what i've marked on the fabric so it gives me my um that measurement i marked that on the fabric and on the lining and i'm now going to be sewing this um across all parts of the fabric so i've marked that now that i am sewing that i'm also going to um using inner closing for the lower part of the lower or bottom part of this fabric then I went to the ironing board to open this up so it flattens out. Um, for the Ankara parts, I um, trimmed out the excess before um, ironing it out. So I've ironed the blouse, I've ironed the skirt, but I'm going back to the machine to join the upper body and the lower body. After joining that, I also went on to join the sleeves um, for the blouse. and. Um, going to um, proceed to joining or rather closing the waist with the strip that I showed you earlier. I also went on to um, join the zipper so that the upper body for this um, pattern is ready. So I've finished joining the zipper now I'm now going to proceed to the three layered peplum. So this layer one I um, ironed the lining on the gum stay place the second lining because I lined twice and place the fabric so I've joined layer one this is layer two that I'm joining and this is layer three after joining this I went back to the sewing machine to rather ironing but to iron out and then sew out I placed the three layers on each other and there you have it now back to the upper body um, the part that consists of um, the upper body and lower body just before the layers i've marked out the points where i'm going to be pleating i'm going to be pleating on two points then i also marked out the center points the center point that i'm going to be working with i picked my bobbin pin and began placing these parts on the fabric 
on the um, peplum as well i'd already marked the front and the back so that it aligns with the markings that i have done on the main fabric um i first of all placed the bobbin pin on the parts that's on the side on the sides of the of the gown and also on the um middle point the midpoint the excess fabric that i marked is where the pleat is going to be pleating the fabric is very thick because i used the very hard um, gum stay so I won't be sewing with my machine I'm going to be using my hand to secure the pleats so you can see that's the um, pleats for the fabric I'm going to be using needle and thread to secure that because of the thickness of the gum stay this cannot pass through the machine that's why I'm using my hand I made use of um, you could you could also have with you um, anchor chief so it's easy for you to pass the needle into the fabric and that's what I did on the four points where the pleat is and I'm going to be showing you what this looks like eventually and this is the final look of this recreation um, you can see how the three layers are sitting properly you can also see how the upper body is sitting properly let me zoom in so you can see the layers this is what you have you can see the pleats and you can see how structured the peplum is i hope this video was as educative as possible if you have any questions for me do not forget to leave them down below in the comment section i'll be ready to um read from you and um, do not forget to also give a thumbs up to this video if you liked watching this tutorial video do not forget to also share this content on your other platforms if you haven't subscribed now is the time for you to subscribe from me to you it's bye bye keep keep creating magic it's Saint Nightingale.